Welcome to the world of Irish dancing. It was a tradition that began in colonial Ireland when the Brits outlawed dancing. The Irish held their arms and upper bodies still and straight so that they could continue to dance behind shrubs and doorways without raising suspicion. Thanks to Michael Flatley's River Dance, boys and girls on every continent have begun taking classes and attending competitions. So what is it about Irish dance that sets it apart from ballet and tap? Let's start with its different styles. First, there's soft shoe. Dancers perform reels and jigs in light leather shoes called ghillies. Soft shoe style is characterized by elegant lines and exciting jumps. Then there's hard shoe. With fiberglass tips, dancers execute complicated rhythms to excite crowds and judges. There are a variety of hard shoe dances, like treble jigs, hornpipes, and set dances. The styles are differentiated by music and timing. Professional dance troops have sprung up around the globe, even at Disney World and Bush Gardens. Though a dancer's focus is on craft and athleticism, Irish dance is also known for its iconic look. Girls often wear curly wigs and three panel dresses with Celtic embroidery to uphold Irish tradition. Boys wear vests, jackets, and sometimes kilts. Some dancers travel around the world to compete for titles like North American champion. Those who are the most skilled can qualify for the world championships where the best of the best see who can come out on top. 